Hi, welcome to my review of the Toco 4.0 graphics pack for DaVinci Resolve. For full disclosure here, this video is sponsored by MotionCan, the producers of this graphics pack. However, I agreed to do this review with the proviso that I could freely report any issues or concerns that I have with the software. The opinions here expressed are my own and not influenced by any third parties, including MotionCan. At the conclusion of the video, I will list my pros and cons regarding the product and assessment of its value based on a measure of price to performance ratio, and then I'll present a final star rating where five stars is perfect and one star is not recommended. Note that I have never ever given out a five star review and I doubt I ever will. The closest you'll get to perfect here is 4.5 stars. In the description of this video, you'll find affiliate links to two different versions of the pack. One is the regular license that is suitable for creators that are creating content for internal use or for a YouTube channel, or if you're creating promotional videos for customers and things of that nature. The second affiliate link is for the extended or commercial license that is more suited to those creators who are monetizing their content for a commercial service such as a streaming service or in a feature film or TV series. As previously stated, this is a review, not a tutorial. I've linked to a comprehensive tutorial that's on YouTube in the description of the video here. With all of that out of the way, let's dive in. Installation of the product is very straightforward. It's provided in a zip archive, so just unpack that. The root of the zip contains a README PDF file. In here, you'll find links to an installation tutorial as well as how to use the product tutorial. Note that the PDF indicates that the pack requires Resolve version 17 or later. You can use this with the free or paid versions of Resolve. Additionally, you'll need to download the separate font pack from the Toco website. After clicking on the All Fonts in One Archive link, you'll be redirected to a Dropbox page where you can download a zip file that contains all of the required fonts for the application. Install these fonts as appropriate for your system. Also, within the zip file, you'll find links to five more fonts, so make sure to download those before you continue with the installation. Please note that the font download page for Unisans may not render properly in your browser, preventing you from downloading the font. I tested it with Microsoft Edge, Apple Safari, Opera, and Chrome, and Chrome was the only browser that would render the page properly and let me download the font. I've put the URL for this font in the video description so you can copy and paste it into Chrome, since Chrome doesn't support URL files as provided in the Toco font archive. You'll also find an HTML file in the root of the installation folder that illustrates all of the elements included within the pack. It's broken up into 21 categories for quick navigation, and all of the elements here are locally stored so you can access this HTML page while offline. This is a great tool for quickly finding a motion graphic that fits your project. Once all of the fonts are installed, proceed to the 01 Toco installer folder where you'll find an EXE for Windows and a PKG installer for the Mac. Double click on the appropriate installer file and follow the usual procedure for installing software on your system. To access the elements within Resolve, you'll find most of them in the Titles and Video Transitions panes. They're broken up into appropriate existing category sections, or there are new categories defined to accommodate items that did not appropriately fit within the existing categories inside of Resolve. I've linked to a tutorial for all of this in the description. Okay, let's see what we have on offer here with the Toco Pack. You get free updates to the pack as they're developed. Some of what is included in the pack is 
over 2,250 graphics elements in 20 categories. They're all fully customizable. You've got support for up to 4K resolution, over 600 sound effects in 22 categories, tutorials, free fonts, an HTML library for fast library perusal, resolve on iPad support, which I haven't tried, and a lot more. These elements include plenty of social media appropriate elements in a wide variety of different styles. You also have fully customizable infographics elements, which are great for engaging your audience in what might otherwise be boring statistics. A full range of mobile and laptop device graphics like these, they're very modern and combined with the corner pin tracking in Fusion can be used to present a wide variety of mobile content in a very stylish and modern way with great visual impact. A very wide variety of titles is on offer that will allow you to break up your video into logical sections and separate them with visually compelling title elements like these. These are also very easily adapted to motion graphic slides and video to add visual interest to your projects. A full set of lower thirds is also included, and these are great for showing the viewer when a subject change has occurred within your video stream, as well as to call out individual names and titles in interview scenarios are also very useful in situations where you're covering multiple locations and have a need to call out the locations with minimal interference in the visuals. Combine all of this with kinetic titles and a full set of callouts and graphic backgrounds, and you've got a very complete graphic set on your hands. The inclusion of sound effects is a very nice touch. Many times the inclusion of a sound effect to emphasize a motion graphic or a transition can make the difference between an okay result and an excellent result. As a side note, the sound effects are not integrated into Resolve like the other effects. You can use the media page to navigate to the original folder where Toko is unzipped and you'll find the O3 Extra Materials folder and inside of that folder is the sound effects folder that contains all of the sound assets. You can add this to a power bin so that it's always inside of Resolve for any projects that you use, like so. If I went through everything included in this excellent graphics pack, the video would be hours long, so I just wanted to highlight some of the excellent tools that the pack provides to you. We've just scratched the surface here, and there are many, many more elements included, such as interface items, kinetic posters, animated shapes, beautiful gradients, logo reveals, and much, much more. Check out the complete list of elements included over at the Envato store hosting the pack by using the links in the description. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the wide variety and quality of the graphics and tools included in the Toko Graphics 4.0 pack. In terms of pros, I think the quality is excellent. The variety is truly mind-boggling, and the graphics really cover an excellent variety of topics and situations. The price is very reasonable. The amount of content that you're getting here for the price is kind of mind-blowing, really. In terms of cons, performance can be an issue. Many of the elements are created with Fusion and can take a while to render. Another con for me is the way that elements are named. Names like Toko Social Media 132 are not very helpful. I find I go to the web index frequently to browse the content to find things that meet my needs. A better naming system would allow me to use the effect search features to find what I'm looking for. My final con would be that the text elements typically only use a solid color. It would be nice to be able to use gradients for a color option in the text. In conclusion, I'd have to give this product a four-star rating. I think it's a great value with an amazing amount of options and content variety. Okay, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please click like because that helps other folks on YouTube find it. And until the next video, take care.